So, if you've been on Twitter for a while, you've been seeing things that have been happening to the author, Lauren Hoff, and I, I feel so bad, I figured I should write a letter of apology, you know, but I, I decided to put it on my notes on my phone because we know how heartfelt iPhone note apologies are and it, it, it captures the emotions I feel. So let's start. I said, dear Lauren, on behalf of reviewers and readers everywhere, we're sorry. We're so sorry. We're sorry your white woman tears aren't working. We're sorry that our 4.5 star reviews weren't good enough. We're sorry we're children who need to grow up. We're sorry nobody's buying your bullshit. <laughs> we're sorry we're such assholes. We're sorry we're, we're just nerds on a power trip. We're sorry so many terrified authors are looking up to you, Lauren. The defender of authordom and attacker of reviewers. It, it must be so hard, so hard, defending so many people and carrying them on your back, huh? <laughs> sorry that you can't fly anymore because you don't want to be stuck sitting next to one of us on a plane. I mean, the horror. <laughs> We're so sorry. You have no idea what it means to go touch grass. I mean, that could have saved you and us from so much. <laughs> We're so sorry that you decided to come for authors who were giving you good advice because how dare TJ Clune tweet about what is going on. By the way, read The House and the Cerulean Sea by TJ Clune. Perfection. <laughs> Sorry, we were appalled that you would compare receiving negative reviews for being an utter asshole to trigger warning rape. We're sorry you think trigger warnings are hilarious and we did not find that funny. <laughs> we're sorry that your life revolves around searching your name on Twitter and quote tweeting every single tweet, every single reply that you see. I mean, that must be so hard for you, mustn't it? <laughs> We're sorry that you don't have friends who could have warned you and advised you on the total shithole this situation was becoming because you were just being you. <laughs> we're sorry you don't have a DM group who could have kept your secret and kept you from showing your ass on these Twitter streets. <laughs> oh, Lauren, <laughs> we're sorry that you had to take to blocking every single person who called you out on your bullshit on Twitter. <laughs> We're sorry that screenshots are forever and no matter how much you delete it, your idiocy and this bullshit will never be forgotten. <laughs> We're sorry that you're finally realizing that the freedom of speech does not exclude you from the responsibility of the words you've said and the consequences of your actions. <laughs> We're sorry you decided to compare book reviewers to trigger warning Nazis. <laughs> we're sorry we're so sorry that your weed dealer keeps supplying you with bad strains of weed i mean what is wrong with that person <laughs> we're so sorry that you can't take responsibility for your actions lauren we're so sorry <laughs> and finally <laughs> We're sorry that you're the living embodiment of white privilege because we all know that publishing is probably going to give you a book deal for this. You will attract followers who think the same bullshit that you perpetuate. I mean, 
the lot of them are on Twitter defending your bullshit. <laughs> There will be articles written by people who will try to paint you as the victim. And you will walk away with more money after causing so much damage. And just because a 4.5 stars review wasn't good enough for you. So here is me apologizing to you, Lauren, the only way I know how.